Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a quick get ready with me. I have all my makeup right here laid out. have my Starbucks and I'm just going to go ahead and start this video. We're just going to get ready and chat and I'm just going to catch you guys up on what's going on in my life. So I did my eyebrows off camera just because they're super bushy and I really need to go get them waxed. Prime my face. Yesterday, I went to Sephora and I got a new Fenty Beauty Soft Matte um, Primer. I got the travel size because I'm cheap and I just did not want to get the big one because it's expensive. But I went through this travel size one and I needed a backup. This primer is so good if you have oily skin. So yeah, I just put a little bit this much and then just put it on my T-zone. So right here. It's a soft matte primer so it's not too matte. But I don't know, it gives me a little bit of hydration to my skin. I already put moisturizer on. I put my Clinique gel moisturizer. This is just to kind of mattify. I kind of put it everywhere. But I kind of try to focus it right here where I get really oily on my T-zone. I really want to share too much, but we're moving. We kind of outgrew this house after we got Sophia. Um, this house, I love this house. Um, it's a family friend's house that we rent right now. And it has a pool and it's great and everything, but we kind of outgrew this um, house now that we have Sophia, like I said. Um, so we're going to be moving in a few weeks and it's super exciting, but it's also stressful because moving kind of sucks. Um, we moved one time and, well I've moved a lot of times, but together as a couple, me and Anthony have only moved one time and that was we lived in Kansas when my husband was in the military and then we moved over here to Arizona and um the army moved us so we didn't have to really worry about anything um to move besides the clothes on our back basically but this time we're moving ourselves and it's just it's crazy moving really does suck I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender I don't know what foundation I want to go with we'll just do makeup revolution I like this foundation a lot we're gonna do the f12 not sure if yeah I love this foundation. It's so good. It's super cheap. It's like, I forgot how much it costs, honestly. I think it's like $10 at the drugstore. But it, it works like if it's a high end. I like to focus that. The only thing, I wish it was in a pump. But whatever. I need to buy a new one. I'm kind of running out. This is like my go-to um, drugstore foundation. Sophia cross country is over for her now so we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do sorry guys I'm back my camera ran out of storage I really need to get a new SD card so what was I saying so cross country is over for Sophia um, since we're moving she will most likely be moving schools um, we haven't really decided if we're gonna move her schools or let her finish out the year she really likes the school she's at but She's really friendly, and I feel like she would make friends if we move her to any school. So me and my husband still need to talk about if we're going to move her or what's going on with that. Um, I'm not doing anything too crazy with the makeup today because it's Sunday. I usually don't wear makeup on Sunday, but for this video, and since I'm going to run errands with the kids, I figured let's put some makeup on a girl. Oh, now I'm going in with the Too Faced Cookie Foundation. I mean, concealer. I love, oh, my nose is runny. I love this, um, I love this concealer a lot. I definitely, I'm going to buy it again. It's just such a full coverage concealer and it doesn't look super cakey on my skin. And I love the shade. The cookie shade is so good. And the base, um, now sells Too Faced again. So I get like a discount on Too Faced makeup. And Anastasia and other makeup and skincare stuff so I usually don't pay full price um, but yeah that's what we've been doing Santana is just growing 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 I wish I could put him in a sport but I think he's too little still he's only two he's just so ready like earlier today he got a hat a baseball hat that his dad got him 
and then he got a little um a glove a baseball glove and he was ready to go play it was so cute like i feel like he's gonna be really into sports which is so crazy because his baby shower was a sports theme and i mean i didn't know at the time like what he was gonna be into because different kids are into different things and i really do think he's into sports he loves everything is like a ball to him i i have a cold still i don't know how to get rid of it i've been taking medicine i just think it's because of the weather change here in arizona it just got cold out of nowhere and i really don't have winter clothes well i did have winter clothes when i lived in kansas but i can't find the box when we moved i can't find the box of all the stuff like all my winter clothes all my winter coats jackets i put it all away because i was like oh, i'm not gonna need it in arizona we had moved back to arizona when it was the summertime and it's just super hot here so i just i don't know i can't find the box i'm drinking a matcha with um coconut milk and it's so good next we're gonna use the shade and light the kat von d shade and light palette this is I got the little one. It has two shades, Lyric and Shadow Play. And I use this one for my under eyes and I use that to contour. I'm going to go in with this little It Cosmetics brush just to set the under eye with Lyric from the Kat Von D. I forgot. You see how bright that makes your under eye? Oh, it makes it super bright. I think it looks too bright. Oh my god. I think I put too much. Okay. Oh my god, I put too much. Oh well. I usually use the Laura Mercier, but I forgot. This, you can only put a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna fix that right now. Maybe we should do it with a sponge. It doesn't look that bad in person, but I'm just going to melt that into the skin. I love the Beauty Blender so much. Okay, does that look better? I think so. Next, we're going to go ahead and go in with my setting powder, which is the makeup. It's not a setting powder. It's just um, a matte velvet skin powder from Makeup Forever in Y37. I love this powder so much. We're just going to use a MAC brush to set that since I get super oily. And this is a full coverage powder. Um, and I'm using one of these Sigma brushes. I like a really bronze look, so I put a lot of bronzer on. Um, more bronzer, please. And like I said, we're not really going too crazy with the makeup today because... We're not doing anything too crazy today. It's only Sunday, girl. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get another MAC brush. And I'm going to use my MAC. No, not the Studio Fix. I should have pulled all this out. Sorry. I'm going to use the MAC Give Me Sun. So, Halloween was really fun, you guys. We had a lot of fun. My husband doesn't celebrate, so it was just me and the kids. Um, and on top of that, he doesn't really like to be on camera, and I respect that. So, the only thing that sucks is I can't decorate the way, though I couldn't decorate this hair the way like I like to decorate. But I did show you guys my mom's decor, which it was super cute. And then my sister, oops, my sister, she also decorated her house super cute as well. And I did show you guys that. Ugh. My family's really into the Halloween spirit. I remember my uncle, I used to be neighbors with my, um, when I, growing up, we used to be neighbors with my uncle Michael, who, um, rest in peace, died two years ago. Two? Yeah, two years. Oh my God, it's been, it's been a while. Um, but my uncle Michael, he was super creative, and he would always do haunted houses. 
um, in our old neighborhood so I just always loved Halloween and then on top of that it was my birthday month and I'm like so close to being a Halloween baby so, okay, so my I really need a new SD card because it keeps the camera keeps pausing on me saying that I need more memory so that sucks but anyways what I was saying was I love Halloween because I have such good memories of Halloween time when I was younger it was just such a fun time as a kid Next, I'm going to go in with MAC Peaches and just this Morphe brush. My husband bought me like this whole Morphe brush collection and I love it so much. Um, I really need to wash my makeup brushes. So for Halloween, I did like a green eye look that you guys will probably see in the vlog. And a lot of my eyeshadow brushes are now green. So I really need to wash them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite blush onto my cheeks I love Mac so much if I could just use one makeup brand for my whole life it would probably be Mac Mac or or Too Faced I think yeah I love Too Faced as well a lot okay and I'm not like a makeup artist I just love to do makeup um to do my own makeup actually and sometimes I like to do like makeup on my family members, but I love doing my own makeup and I've always been into makeup like my whole life. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do, uh, we'll do eyeshadow because yeah, we'll do eyeshadow. We're going to pull out the gingerbread palette. This palette is my go-to palette, honestly. And we're just going to go in with this Morphe brush and we're just going to go in with gingerbread latte. Actually... Yeah, we're gonna go. In. We're just gonna put that in the. Oh my god, you guys! I didn't really set my eyes good. Let me see. My eyelids are creasing. I didn't really set. I get too excited and I start talking and I don't do my makeup right. God, my nose is so runny. I don't know what to do for it, you guys. Any recommendations for runny noses? We're just going to apply gingerbread in the crease just a little bit. Just to give a little bit of definition to the eyelid. Or to the eye area. My husband took the kids grocery shopping. And it just feels so good to be home alone doing my own makeup. Filming a video. Kids can be... They can overwhelm you sometimes, you know, and sometimes you just need your alone time as a mom, as a human, me and my husband. Luckily, like, I have a super supportive husband that gives me my alone time. Um, he knows, like, he'll tell me, like, I'll take the kids and I'm like, go ahead, take them because they're driving me nuts. But yeah, we kind of give each other a break. I've not gone on a date in two years. I know that's so bad. Like, just him and I, ever since we had Santana... And now that we're a parent of two, we just have not gone on a date, just me and him. And I really miss that. Like, I miss going to the movies, going to the mall, going for coffee. Well, he would take me to coffee because he doesn't like coffee. But I miss that, like, one-on-one -on -one time. And I was telling him the other day, and he, I think he misses that too. But then we, we both feel guilty, like, asking our family to babysit or... I trust my sisters and my, you know, my family. But it's just, like... I don't trust Santana. He would probably cry and drive them crazy. He really would. So we're going to highlight because I always highlight. It's just... We're going to use this highlight because I never use this highlight. It's the Becca Champagne Splits um, Prosecco Pop. It's from Becca. Becca's um, highlighters are always bomb. So this one comes with like a blush and a highlight. My son, I had champagne pop and my son broke it and he decided to break it and then put all of it inside of my drawer where all my black leggings are at. Kids are crazy, you guys. Like, once you have kids, like, you really, like, it's not, nothing will ever be the same. It's like, you're, you have to watch your back. <laughs> because they do little things like that. Like, my son, oh my god, he's so sneaky sometimes cool i really like this highlight i need to use it more now i'm gonna put some mascara i would wear falsies but since it's just sunday i'm just gonna apply some mascara i got this little sample size at sephora it's from the lancome monosaur big 
mascara. I really like this mascara. I've used it before. Let me get my eyelash curler really quick. Full time, he was trick or treating. He would not let go of his little bucket. It was the cutest thing ever. Um, but yeah, that's basically all we did. Um, my sister outdid herself with the food. As always, she always, my sister's so extra with the food, decor, and all that. But we had so much fun. Um, I know usually during the holidays, people are just like, oh, whatever, I'll get back, you know, into fitness in January, which I used to be one of those persons, but I'm not on a diet or anything crazy like that because I just, diets just don't work for me, and I'm not even gonna, I can't be bothered with diets. But I am gonna start you know trying to eat a little healthier and then um i'm gonna try to keep walking at least a mile or two a day over not feeling super confident in myself and i just want to look bomb so i need to work a little harder on myself i'm gonna use this little one because i can get a little closer to my eyeballs when applying this mascara I wish I like to run but I don't I got mascara up here but the trick is let it dry and then once it's dry just flake it off so I'm going to go ahead with no surprise MAC strip down lip liner something nude but cute I always go nude oh yeah and these smell good too they smell like candy. I really wanted to share the books that have been helping me and that make me feel good. And I just feel like they're worth sharing. I'm not sure if I've shared these on my channel before. But if I have, um, this is just like a really popular book. And I'm sure if you're into like book clubs and into reading, you've probably seen this book already. It's The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. Um, this book is so good, you guys. I love this book so much and this is just one of those books that you can go back and read like over and over and feel like you'll learn something from it each time so yeah I like to read this one this one's more of like a personal growth book well they both are honestly it's like they're in the personal growth self-help um, kind of books but yeah I highly recommend you read this book if you haven't already right now I am I've already finished that one but right now I'm in the middle I'm like halfway through um, the voice of knowledge and this is from Don Miguel Ruiz as well I really like this book it's just kind of more of like a wisdom self-help book um, it's just basically about shutting off the negative thoughts that go in your head and just having control of your mind and um, yeah, it's so good, you guys. If you are into self-help books or, you know, if maybe you have never read a self-help book, I definitely recommend you picking um, the Don Miguel Ruiz books. There's so many of them. I think he has, like, I don't even know, but I have four. Um, after I read The Four Agreements, I just had to read more. And then right now I'm on The Voice of Knowledge. But yeah, I definitely recommend you pick these books up if you haven't already read them. You definitely should. Self-help books are my favorite. If you have any recommendations for self-help books for myself, I love like when people talk about, I love even going on like blogs on Google and just, you know, hearing people's feedback on the books or people giving recommendations of other books. Like if you like this book, you'd probably like such and such books. So if you have any recommendations of any self-help books or any books in general that you think that I would enjoy leave them in the comments below and let's share with each other um this book this this um this youtube channel it's not going to be all about beauty because that's not all I'm about and I'm not just a mom so it's not going to be all like mom content um it's a part of my life and it's a part of who I am but it's not all of me and I'm just going to incorporate di incorporate different things I'm not going to put myself in a box where all I do is mukbangs or all I do because I do love to eat <laughs> all I do is beauty videos I do love all those things but that's not all of me so this channel is more of a lifestyle channel so I am going to share with you guys you know when I'm doing my makeup and I want to share a book or I want to share a snack that I'm loving or whatever I'm going to share that on these videos and I hope you guys enjoy that I just really wanted to come on here and talk to you guys and just do my makeup and um, have some chat with you guys and just let you guys know what's going on. So we're in the process of moving right now. Um, I'll share more once we move. 
And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that and I'll see you guys later. Bye.